Good evening guys, just out in my shed again tonight, working on another project. I'm going to try to make a four prong cultivator. This is a hand tool I want to use for my garden for cultivating the soil. I do have a rotor tiller, but I always think it's a good idea to have some hand tools. Uh, my original plan was to take some of this rebar and bend it and uh, make one this way, but we're on a very strict fire ban right now and I can't do any blacksmithing so this project will have to wait. I tried buying a tool. This is very similar to what I wanted to make but these tines are a little too short. I want something longer and something wider. So I came across this old potato fork. So my plan is to make my own handle. This will be a collar that will slide over the handle and I want to make two holes in the steel tubing and slide the potato fork up through that and have it a tool that I can pull like this. You're probably wondering why don't I just heat this up and bend it over and make a, you know, save myself a lot of work. I want to keep this, you know, so I can use it as a potato fork in case I have to. And you know, the whole process of heating this up, this is all hardened steel. To soften this and bend it would be a lot of work, plus we're not allowed to have any fires at the moment. So before I go through all that trouble of making a handle and maybe finding out that this isn't going to work, you know, this is just an idea I have, I'm going to start trying to make these two holes and fit this in before I do anything else. So it wasn't easy, but I managed to make a, a hole on both sides of the pipe, slide this potato fork through. Now what I have to do is clean up all this, you know, get rid of all these threads. You know, I didn't want to make it messy like that, you know, having the lines go over, but it's all I could do with a hacksaw, a grinding disc, and a metal punch or a chisel. So after I clean this up, I got to cut a handle to fit in here, you know, put a couple of pins in it so it's not going to pull out. And I think it's this is about the right angle that I want for my tool. pretty much got my tool ready to be fit to the handle. This is the way the grain goes on the handle. It's very important to have the grain go in the right way. There's going to be a lot of downward uh, force on this tool and if you have the grain going the wrong way it's more likely to crack.
So right now I'm just applying some linseed oil. I'm not too worried about making the handle perfectly round. It's more in the shape of a hockey stick. Well guys, that wraps up another project. I think it turned out pretty good.